Hi there and welcome back to Champions of Kren. I'm Baron and I think we're pretty much done with the first floor um, of Gargoth Keep. So let's move out. And I think if we go through here and try to pick that lock. You look. You found a secret door to the east. No shit. Go through it. Do you wish to leave? Yes. And we are actually near Gargoth. That's good. So we found a secret entrance, sort of. Um, let's go to the armory. Do we have anything that we need to identify? Doesn't look like it. Let's make it easy. Exit in magic cost. Detect magic. So let's take a look. Nothing. That is all identified. Oh, I could sell the chain plus one. Of course, nobody needs it anymore. Those actually are spells of neutralized poison. Um, yeah, scrolls of neutralized poison. So, get your shit back then. Armory. How much money would we get for the chain? Plus one. 175. Hmm, that's nice. So, well, 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 what else do we have? We could pull our stuff. Take the jewelry. And the gems. And sell them. Oh, we get. Ooh, that's nice. So you take all of that. You are overloaded. No shit. Then you take it. Oh, wait, we could still buy a few. Oh, I don't have enough money. Well, screw it. How, ma how many dots do I have? 162. Yeah, that, that should suffice. I mean, come on, really. I could pull the money and then buy a few more dots, but that's not really necessary. Let's go to the vault and deposit our steel. Well, how about we deposit 4,500 then? We have 19,100 now. So we could Talk to the commandant. The office is presently closed. The following missions are listed on the duty roster. Recover the dragonlance from Gargas. See that Jellic is safe. Okay. So we should leave again. And return to Gargath. Do you enter? Yes. Where do you want to go? We could go to Gargath or to the keep. Let's go directly to the keep. And now we are here again where we left off. Very nice. So we save. But the bad news is all the random encounters have reset now because I left. 
that can't be helped. So which way do we go? We walk around here. And stairs going up to the east. Yay, we see them and we actually use them. No, we don't go down again. So, well... No, that's not where I want. I want to go in here. And there are stairs leading up. Don't want to go up yet. A prisoner lies in rotting filth on the floor. He beckons you down and whispers to you. And you note this as journal entry 42. Do we? 42, 42. Uh, the prisoner is extremely weak. He barely croaks out some broken phrases. The castellan is alive. He is being held here at this floor. An auric. Silver eggs. Black dragons. Book. He grabs your arms and dies. That's rather unfortunate. I have a Mishaka cleric. Uh, he could have healed you. She could have healed you. Kobita is good at that. At least that's what I heard. So the Castellan actually is in here. If you pick that. You find a man who immediately shrinks against the back wall. Seeing that you are not what he expected, he ten tentatively offers greetings. He introduces himself as the former keeper of the Citadel. You notice remarks as journal entry 36. Oh, what well, is a lot. Thank Paladine you're here. They have taken everything. My poor family, my friends and retainers. Gone. He breaks down. After a while he looks up in anguish and says, There's an Auric who seems to be in charge. He had his minions scouring the keep. He's looking for my dragon lance. He'll never find it. It's hidden. Hidden very well. Nobody can find it. But I'll tell you. Yes, I'll tell you. You're from Caramon? Of course, of course. Look at the sixth story. As you come up the stairs, you will see a door directly ahead of you. The wall to the left of that door has a secret door, uh, secret door in it. The dragon lens is in there. He looks around in fear. Where are they? Where? They were here. I saw them. My little ones. Where are they? I must go. I must. I will slip out down the stairs. Goodbye, goodbye. Get the lens. Hmm. He doesn't seem too sane. The Castellan leaves. And that's actually all we can do in here. So we leave again. We do as the Castellan did and leave. Okay, yeah, how about we save before we go up there? You never know what awaits you, right? So, well, 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 well. So. Let's climb up the stairs. That apparently is the third floor now. No, I don't want to go out yet. So there's a door to the north. There's a passage to the south. Let's go to the south first. Nobody has attacked me in quite some time. Okay, there are more stairs here. Before we go there, who the fuck are you? This room is filled with bodies of exhumed dead. To your horror, some of the bodies begin to slowly rise and turn towards you. What do you do? You attack! A battle begins. What do we have here? Oh, there's an elvish curate. Well, you could move down. And give him one of your wonderful magic missiles to stop him from casting. That worked nicely. You go down too and try one of your magic missiles. Keep him from casting and try to kill him as fast as possible. You don't do anything right now. 
you could guard. No, you delay. You delay too. You delay? Come on, Silver, you should try to turn them. That's what we have you for. Oh, fuck. Okay. Not good. What could you do now? You could take a look around. Five, six, eighteen. Hmm. You could try to turn them, but it probably won't work. If Sylvia couldn't turn them, then you can't turn them either, right? Ah, well, we tried. That was a ghast. How ghastly. They can drain levels. But he has 41,000 experience points. That's okay. He didn't get drained. And he is off the sixth fighter level. That is cool too. And his stats are the same. Okay, everything is dandy. Yes, I want it. I'm I was confused. I think ghasts can actually Let's take a look at the manual. These undead have a good chance of being turned by your cleric once you reach the fifth level with that character or the third if you worship Magir. Once you reach 8th level or 6th, if you worship Magi, you will automatically turn them. The Ghast is a particularly dangerous undead type as they cause your characters to fight less effectively due to the terrible stench they exude. Ghasts can paralyze a character, even elves, with a single hit. Don't let Ghasts melee with your party for too long as they will almost certainly knock one of your characters out. Ghasts look exactly like ghouls. No, they can't level drain. Good. I feel better now. No, you can keep that. It sucks anyway. I don't think we need to get our spells back. Oh yes, we do. Magic missiles, right? And a bonus fire spell for Sylvia White's. Yeah, of course she used the magic missile. As did Genevieve Jolie. And now we have like, I don't know, four or five fireballs at our disposal. So we save. And move on. So that's all we can do in here. I just wanted to kill those. And now we actually go up.
Okay, so now we are on the fourth floor. And the stairs going up are just next to the stairs going down. Who would have thought? So what do we do now? We should probably save before we go in there. You interrupt some fighters intent on a game of dice. What do you do? We attack them. What do we have? Elvish killers. It's not too bad. You delay. You delay. You delay. You move one step ahead and cast a uh, whole person as do you you delay try to get him him and him Held. Unaffected. Boo. Nice. So now we start the slaying. Uh, wait, you are helpless. So we have two more uh, fighters that are not helpless. Let's see whether we can change that. And exit. Held. Held. <laughs> Works like a charm. We're done. Three hundred fifty five. Hmm, that's not much. Anything nice? Well, I don't really know for sure. Let's detect and look again. No. There's still treasure left. Do you want it? No. The party has found treasure. Each character receives 875 experience points. Twice? Okay. And 100 platinum. You notice that the dice are loaded. Well, good thing we didn't play with them then. There's nothing for you and nothing for you. You also get your whole person back. Oh, really? Fine. Please don't have snakes. Oh, 
shit. That's a truckload. Fine. Yo. Oh, okay, it works on both. I thought a second boss couldn't hear Kobe Tai. But he could. You'll probably get like 50 experience points for that. Oh well. That's how you're supposed to do it. Thank you. Randy, show them how it's done. Oh, really? No, not move, aim. Good night. Um, you delay. The red is too close. No, it's dead. Now for the last bars. Move? Why did you do that? Good night. 81. Oh well. Yeah, we take it all.
Oh no, don't tell me I have to... Ah, oh, shit. It didn't keep it. I have to memorize the spells again. Okay. So, let's save again and move on. Now, after we have broken up that gambling party, we should move in here. Capex are standing guard at the door to the south. They look up at you and prepare to attack. What do you do? Well, we attack. A battle begins. Oh, 4k pack. That's not too bad. You got. And you got as well. You could cast a friendly fireball. Right about here. Oh, wait, that only worked on two? That's weird. Is there a saving throw against the fireball? Not that I know of. I mean, okay, there's a saving throw that allows you to only get half of the damage, but you can't evade it at all. You didn't hit. You suck. Well, Night. What do we get? Forty steel. Uh, what? Seven magic. Oh, that's a new one. Seven magic word number one. That would be two. Exactly. Oh well, the bonus spell is gone. That's unfortunate. Why do you always bother me with those rats? Oh shit. And don't forget the snakes. Fuck. Um, you know what? You cast a fireball. You cast a snake charm. You start slaying rats. Charmed. 
found. It only worked on two. Shit. So one, two, three, right? One, two, three. You also cast a snake charm. And it worked on the last one. Good. Kill them. Ready. So, we try resting again. And this time it worked. So, how about we call it a video then and continue in the next one. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.